All right, y'all, let's get into the video, man. We are going to be reacting to the Tea Rooms video. All right, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DMV Lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey still a whole. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So in a previous video, I reported that Nike was getting CJ's name tattooed on her. Now, yeah. when she dropped her video, I originally on her thought, neck? I know she's not getting his name. Bruh, Good not on the neck. neck. This has to be a joke. And come to find out, it was a joke. It was a I was about to say. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say this. One thing, like, I don't know much about Nike, and I haven't really kept up with Nike. But from what I have seen, I am starting to notice that Nike is actually hilarious dude she likes to have fun and i love it you know what i'm saying i love her sense of humor she seems like a cool ass person the funny thing is is people actually believed that she would do something like this yeah so you guys i was gonna say bro you are setting yourself up girl have not saw the video head over to nike's channel to that's, check that video out funny. i also reported on she's CJ pretty funny. going out on a date with a miss blazing now this wasn't confirmed, persuasion but it was pretty much confirmed yesterday when she posted videos in cj's bathroom mm. so it appears as if she actually actually spent the night yeah spicy that is a nice ass bathroom too with the fireplace the electronic fireplace Sheesh. right at his house it's a vibe now royalty also posted on instagram so what vibe. appeared to be herself out on okay you on a date date i see you girl do your thing on a date it was good to do see royalty thing. out meeting new people and dating as well as you should girl as you should keep it up and not just sitting back waiting on the cj to get his act together I also shared in a previous video sadly Cynthia shared the passing of her older brother mm -hmm. and it's so good that trey was R. actually R. there to still support her looking clean as a whistle and he even sung at her brother's funeral my boy, my boy looking clean as hell boy that's a sharp looking I blue too speak on artist's mom sharp looking blue. baby Italy Banks, girl, you was always coming to the internet. You need to come to the courthouse instead, bro. There's nothing that we can do about what Miss, Mr. For Christopher Sales is doing to you, okay, lady? And this is the reality. This is how most men think. Just because I'm the mother, I got it, and he shouldn't have to do anything because he feels like he's not obligated, even though he decided to bust that nut. Same dude that be on YouTube pretending like he the best dad ever. Okay, let's honestly, you got to also think about, okay, yeah, he decided to bust that nut, but you also decided to allow him to bust that nut up in you too, girl. You can't be upset that you let the wrong nigga bust up inside you, bro. You know, probably a one night stand, two night stand, whatever the case may be. He wasn't wifing you. Look at you. Look at your social media presence. Who would wife something like that? All right. And I'm not trying to be mean or ugly. I'm just speaking facts. It's just what it is. Who's going to wife that? But anyway, guys, I mean, look at her profile picture. Who is wifing that, bro? We're not wifing that over here, fam. You were smashing dash, smashing pass. And you did the same thing to him. You smashed him and passed him or tried to, you know, keep smashing him, whatever the case may be. Try to be with him, probably. But at the same time, it's like you lay down with this dude. And then you get upset that you got pregnant and let a dude bust up in you who is supposedly not being responsible and not wanting to take care of his kid, take that shit to the courts because there's nothing that we can do on social media for you or your situation. Point blank, period. Mama actually posted a voice recording of Chris on Twitter. Now the caption reads, and this is the reality. This is how most men think. Just because I'm the mother, I got it, and he shouldn't have to do anything because he feels like he's not obligated, even though he decided to bust that nut. Same dude that be on YouTube pretending like he's the best dad. I ain't gonna lie. That sounds like uh, Mr. Josue Vargas. <laughs> Mr. Josue Vargas, his baby mama, says similar things, says the same thing. Basically, like, because I'm the mom or whatever the case may be, and I'm able to take care of my kid does not mean that you don't need to be taking care of your kid and don't need to be providing as well and don't need to be seeing your kid, bro. Like, this is still your kid. Why am I doing everything? You just really, you just be making it hard. Like, you, you do. You go to social media, the shit just be annoying. <laughs> you do be going to social media. The shit be annoying. If you really have a problem with that man, take his ass to court. Point blank, period, exclamation point. But how does that have to do anything with artists, Chris? You're right. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You was his mother. You know how that is. And you're his father. So why can't you provide for him? No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. 
Dealing with some of these baby mamas is like dealing with the devil. And I'm not saying that you still shouldn't like try to have a relationship with your, you know, your son or your daughter, daughter or your child. But the shit that some of these men have to go through, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this. With that being said, Chris and any other man who is going through baby mama drama and a difficult baby mama, you guys need to be taking their ass to court. And I know... Like a lot of dudes don't want to take the girl to court because they don't want to get the folks involved. Sometimes that is what's necessary to have a relationship with your kid. I think the most important thing is to make sure that you have that connection, that bond with your kid, that you have fair visitation rights to see your kid and all of that, bro. You know, me, I don't have any kids, but I can say that I would fight to be able to visit my kid, see my kid. You know, I'm not just going to say, you know what? The baby mama is fucking wild, psycho, and crazy. You should have thought about that before you was busting nuts, point blank, period. All right? You should have thought about that before you was shooting up the clubs and shooting everybody's club up. You know? These are the things that you got to take into consideration. It's not all the baby mama's fault. It's not all the baby daddy's fault. Both of y'all are playing a part. And both of y'all are not doing what y'all need to do, which is going to see them folks and getting shit handled through the courts. Chris, if you really, you know, want a relationship with your son, Blake as well. You need to go to the courts and do things the right way. Sometimes you have to do it that way if you cannot co-parent effectively and the co-parenting relationship is unhealthy. Sometimes you have to get uncomfortable in order to have a relationship with your children. You don't just, you know, say, oh, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Disregard my kids. No, you fight for your kids. That's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know everybody's not like that, but I would fight for visitation to see my kids and all of that because those are my kids and these are some of the most precious times in my kids' life. You know, I want to be there as they grow up and all of that shit, you know? So I'm not about to let you win. I'm definitely not finna let you win and I know you batshit crazy, you psycho and all of that. I'm not finna let that fly. So if I got to go to the courts and do the shit that way and talk to the folks to go see my kids... That's what I'm going to do, you know? So, Chris, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, I, I'm not understanding your logic in that. I'm really not. Maybe he's like, okay, I'm already in trouble with the law. I don't want to go through this. But look, if you care about your kids and you really want to be in your kid's life, sometimes you got to sacrifice. Sometimes you got to be uncomfortable to have and salvage that relationship with, you know, your sons, man. It's worth it. I don't understand why somebody would feel like it's not worth it, but it is what it is. Different strokes for different folks. I just don't get it. I'm psycho because I want you to provide for your own. And let's move on to this next topic with Neek and Mr. Dwayne Bacon. Because it's... Neek is super thick. Seems like they may have... Thicker than a snuckle. Gotten back together. They were... I already know what I tell y'all, man. I give it about a week. On Instagram live last night, all hugged up, having a good time. Them, them thighs was eating up that goddamn... What is that? Short skorts? What she got going on right there, y'all? And Neek even started the <laughs> live off singing No Pain, No Gain. <laughs> Now, of course, everyone in the comments was asking, hey, Neek, where is Dwayne? So mm -hmm. Neek did turn the camera on him mm -hmm. to let everyone know that he was <clears throat> there. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, you get in these relationships and you make up the breakup. And let's be honest, bro. The average relationship, you're going to have breakups in between or breaks in between, times where you get pissed off, you take everything down, you unfollow, whatever the case may be. And, you know, you get back right. So, like, this is normal couple shit, normal relationship shit. Neek and Dwayne are no different than any of us, yo. Right next to yeah. her. Now, of course, there were comments asking her, hey, why did you guys unfollow each other and remove the photos? Neek, of course, didn't answer. Now, I did go back and check, and as of now, those photos are not back on her page or his page, mm -hmm. and they are not following each other. I've seen a lot of people in the live stating that they never broke up because they were there together, but here's my thing. People break up and get back together all the time. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, T-Room. Neek and Dwayne have done this before. Now, mm -hmm. that wasn't all that happened in that live. We all have seen Jazz and Crystal. How many other? Right, this is regular couple shit. I just said that. Because Neek's ex 
Fredo Bang also made an appearance. Now, he was commenting while Neek was on live. Oh, As you can see, she saw the comments and she started making these facial expressions. Mm. And then she immediately got off and blocked him. Now, these Damn. were the comments that he left in that live. First puts the look in eyes emoji and then he says, Not come, come home. home. Neek oh, wasn't playing any games with that. Shit. I mean, she immediately blocked him. Neek, you a real one, girl. I'm proud of you. She was not about to entertain that at all. But hey, the main story here is that Neek and Dwayne are back together. I'm proud of you, girl. I'm proud of you. Hey, man, you get an A++ and a smiley face. All right, and a hundred. All right, anyway, guys, <laughs> let me know how y'all feel about everything in this video, man. Shout out to the tea room. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey. Still all. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.